Hello and welcome guys. So um, today we, we have an uh, interesting episode. We're going to unbox, build and put the OS on this Intel NUC. Um, this is the 8th gen i5 version. So it's not that new, but it is still a, a pretty decent performer. Um, so let's unbox it then. Oh damn. Oh, so that is the Nook itself. Let's see if there's anything else behind it. Um, nothing here. Yep, so let's see what we got. We have a standoff for the M.2 um, SSD. We have a power brick. We have a bunch of uh, manuals and stuff. Uh, a bunch of screws. That's interesting. Um, another guide thingy. And a bracket for mounting on a VESA mount. Okay, so that's about it. Let's show off the, the knock itself. I'm surprised that it does not come with any like HDMI or something like that. Oh, this is so fucking cool. Okay, so that is the new. As we can see, there is two USB 10 gigabit on front and a combo jack. We have a bunch of ventilation soles um, and a micro SD on the side. And we have pretty, like, for a mobile processor, this is this is pretty good chunk of cooling. That's the AC in, that's the HDMI, Ethernet, another two um, 10 gigabit. USB and a Thunderbolt, which can um, connect to an eGPU. Uh, nothing special in the back, but yeah, okay. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not that good in unboxing, so that's the best I can do. Let's uh, disassemble it. I have four gigs of RAM and 250, 240 NVMe SSD, so let's see what we can do from there. And we'll see you then. Okay, so let's go over what we have here. First, we have the Nook from the back. We have our Windows installation drive. We have four gigs of DDR4 at 2066. And we have a 240 NVMe SSD. Um, now, the NUC is compatible with only 2400 MHz RAM. So hopefully this won't do me any problems. But let's open these screws. Yep, and I'll see you after I open them. Okay, we are in, so after I remove the screws, now I don't wanna mess with the cables, but it is basically just SATA and power connected to this drive bay of two and a half uh, inch drive. We have here our M.2, this is our Wi-Fi card, unfortunately it's not upgradable, and this is our RAM slots. Let's install everything, and I'll get you then. So, with both RAM and SSD installed, let's uh, see if we can get into the BIOS. Um, but, before we connect it to power, let's do some peels. Oh, this is not as satisfying as I thought it would be. Ooh, I'm not good at this, guys. I'm sorry. What the hell? What is this? Oh, that's the entire front panel. Okay. Is there anything in the back? No. Okay, let's connect it to power and HDMI then. Um, well, I accidentally turned it on. Oh! And we have an Intel NUC. That's interesting. Let's see if everything will work out fine. Bootable device has not been detected. Oh, I need to connect it to other stuff. I'll catch you back. Give me a sec. Okay, so unfortunately I was not able to get into the BIOS. I'll look online how I do that. But until then... Uh, yeah, this is my 
out it's weird okay yeah but until then i am connected into windows so yeah let's install windows hey we're in windows i have no idea how this wallpaper came to be like this is for my legion laptop which granted my ram was but what how but anyway the ram is already configured to 2400 which is fine uh, as you can see we have four cores and eight threads all are running fine it seems like our graphic is the iris pro 655 and yeah and that's the mp500 ssd that we have yeah that's that's nice that's that's about it nothing too much else okay with the pc fully booted into windows um and everything working fine and all of the drivers installed i feel like this is it um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time Bye bye